Ani, Bojo, Tia and Dijnakash, Makwa Dodam, Sagamak and Dunjaba, Anishnabe Kwe and Dao. Hello, my name is Tia Kavanaugh, and I'm Anishnabe of mixed ancestry, and I'm originally from Sagamak First Nation. I'm a multidisciplinary artist using materials such as paint, wood, fabric, sculpture, and projection. For me, storytelling, process, discovery, and new meaning are at the core of art making. With these aspects at the root, I continue to explore approaches and understanding through the creative lens of an Indigenous woman drawing upon Indigenous research methodologies. I want to take you on a visual guide of the narrative of my mural, which is situated in the NYING dining hall. Let's begin by looking at the left-hand side of the mural on the bottom. The being that you're looking at is a representation of the creator. The creator is blowing bubbles and using a solution that resides in the copper pot. The purple eyeball creatures ascend up the stairs towards a brave leap into that copper pot. In the copper pot, the creatures are then reimagined into a solution that is used to create those bubbles. The color purple represents the spirit in my culture. So these eyeball beings represent not only the individual, but they represent an idea, a path, a change. So does this journey begin with the creator blowing bubbles? Or is it the never ending cycle of the purple creatures that represents spirit offering themselves? This notion of cyclical rebirth provides us with a powerful framework for building strength in community. I want you to really look at each purple eyeball creature. Is there a sense of determination, hope, peace, or even fear among them? The creator blows these bubbles out into the world, this world being of the conscious and subconscious. And this is possible because of spirit. The sky realm, the water realm, the earth realm, the star realm. These are the many paths and roles that the spirit takes. And those are now represented by circles within my mural. Humor, mischief, and a sense of play might seem like odd approaches when speaking on community and spirit. But I assure you, we in Nishnabek have always utilized these in our stories. And when we see them, we often see them represented in the animals and nature as well. The underwater community that you will see in my mural Within it, there are high rises, teepees, and there's even an ode to the smokestacks in Sudbury. When I think of where I'm from and Sudbury, Ontario, a smell replaces thought. Underwater represents the subconscious in this work, a realm that is always there and, that, and one that we might get stuck in. I wanted some of the meaning and intentionality to remain a mystery in this mural. I wanted to allow the viewer to add their own meaning, to create some wondering and wandering, to enjoy a sense of play and narrative is reflected in the meaning of NYing. Because NYing is not just the name of a building, 
but it's an action and a responsibility to one another. So I hope you enjoy finding meaning and holding space for my mural. Miigwech.